Everyone here at Cook's Country loves these large Le Creuset Dutch ovens, but they cost a pretty penny. So the question today for Adam is, are there any less expensive options on the market? In fact, there are many less expensive Dutch ovens on the market, Julia. You know, that one is a fantastic Dutch Ooh. oven, but it's $360. I know. Not everybody can make that kind of investment. We were trying to find a good alternative. We came up with this lineup of seven pots. We set a price cap of $125, so none of them are more than a third the cost of the Lake Crusade. Yeah. And we chose pots that were six to eight quarts in capacity. Now the cooking tests. Testers boiled water, cooked rice, fried french fries, braised meat, and even baked bread in these guys. There was also some abuse testing that went on to try and get at the durability of an enamel coating if there was one. So testers scrubbed at them repeatedly and hard with an abrasive sponge. They took a metal spoon and whacked the rims of these pots. I know, so sad for them. And you ready for this one? You know what's coming up. <laughs> testers took the lids and slammed them down onto the pot repeatedly, so just like, fun. are you ready? Yep. <laughs> Look what happened with some of these. You get flakes of enamel oh, wow. all over the surface there. Oh. They came right off. That would not stand the test of time. No, it certainly would not. Now, in terms of the cooking tests, most of the cast iron contestants performed on par, but there were a couple of design factors that testers identified that made a real difference. And one of them was they preferred pans that had straight sides as opposed to pans like this one where the sides curve in to meet the bottom of the pan. So the difference was 10 inches of usable cooking surface on the straight sided pan versus seven and a half inches here. Oh wow. That makes a real difference in cooking. If you're browning meat for stew, that can be the difference between two batches and three or four. That can save you up to 15 minutes. Absolutely. Two of the pots in the, in the lineup were aluminum. They're the two right in front of you, the silver one and the red one. Why don't you pick that one up? Woo! Really <laughs> lightweight, right? It that is. was just about four pounds. It was also the least expensive one here at just $24.29. Oh, right. That one tended to scorch, and in the durability tests, it dented. Now, there was another important design factor, and that was the handles. You know, if you are pulling mm -hmm. a Dutch oven full of stew or a braise out of the oven, those are not good moments to lose your grip. I want you to put on those oven mitts and try the little tiny skimpy handles on that silver Dutch oven. Ooh, that doesn't feel so secure. It doesn't. A little slippery, a little small. The handles have got to be yeah. bigger and mm -hmm. surer for a really firm grip. In the end, we did identify a really good Dutch oven that's a lot less expensive than the Le Creuset, and that one is the Cuisinart seven quart round covered casserole. It's $122. Pretty good. And it did a terrific job. It cooked on par with the Le Creuset. It's got the shape that we like. You've got a broad cooking surface. It was good and solid, and at just $122, it's really a good deal. There you have it. Although we will always love our Le Creuset Dutch ovens for just a third of the cost, look out for a Cuisinart 7 quart round covered casserole. Thanks for watching Cook's Country from America's Test Kitchen. So what'd you think? Leave a comment and let us know which recipes you're excited to make or just say hi. Now you can find links to today's recipes and reviews in the video description. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you later. Alligator. <laughs>